Hello, my name is Michael. I'm the owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. I have one mission and that is to make a difference to the motoring public. Making a difference how? Making sure that you have safe options, making sure that you have knowledge. In that regard, it is my absolute pleasure and privilege to work with Alan Rosenmeyer of Motor Matters. The man with a hat, I'm the man with no hat, he's the man with the knowledge. Thank you for watching. Welcome one and all to the Festival of Motoring 2024. And where would we be if we didn't kick off with an outrageously orange Lambo? In fact, this is the brand new one. It's called the Revolto. I don't want to say Revolto because that's just too simple a thing to try and make, <laughs> make a meal of. But here it is, and it is absolutely stunning. Wait till we get to the rear. Look at where those exhausts are. They're really high up. And if this is in front of you, and it will be in front of you because the thing is incredibly quick. It is a hybrid uh, electric cum petrol thing coming in a bit of a price as it stands. 15, 16 million. And straight into a Bentley. This is a limited edition. It is in homage to the Le Mans winning car of uh, 2023. And this also is not cheap. 11 million rand for a Bentley. But you do get some very cool toys with it. Check out the screen. That's cool. And that thing in the middle is an actual valve. An actual valve from the actual car that won at Le Mans. There it is there on the left of the Continental GT. They only made 25 of these in Coupe and 25 in Cabriolet. So it's an extremely limited, desirable, collectible Bentley. Launches of everything. The Chinese are here in force. This is the new bike. It's the X Beijing X55 uh, Plus. BYD have brought out a full range of the electric vehicles that are on offer. And there are quite a few. Three at least in the range. Omoda JQ also released an electric vehicle. This being the J6, despite what the number plate on the front says, it is in fact a J6. It's an all-electric SUV. And that, I'm sorry to say, looks cool as hell. Cannot wait to get inside that thing to give it a drive. Unfortunately, this particular point in time, my battery and my camera died. And as I was about to shoot the interior of this car, which is impressive, a lot of screens, as one would imagine, uh, seems fairly standard fare for the Chinese these days, it died. So I went outside, jumped into that particular ride, and uh, courtesy of Samlin Racing, who are doing corporate days and various different guises of corporate events, team building, etc. One doesn't really get a sense of the speed of what these things are capable of doing as full-blown race cars from the Trofeo series. So I'm going to shut up and just let the car, and maybe some screaming from myself, let you in on what it actually feels like. Be good. It's going my face off. So there's all that and there's more uh, there are several halls i didn't even get up to the 4x4 track because i just ran out of time yesterday i had so much to talk about see and do all the various launches of different cars that we were looking at this is the upstairs section you can pop up there there are uh, a number of vendors that uh, have all manners of things interesting for the motoring enthusiast and even car clubs are here i just want to say the track is not exclusively for use of the lambos there are a number of manufacturers giving ride and drives. This is down in the pits, and this is basically where all the action is happening. You can get to grips up close and personal with these new cars and showcase and see what everybody's up to and, and doing. And as you can see, there's all manner of things here. There's even some Formula One cars going back. I didn't get too much of a chance to go up and experience these quite up close and personal. But I have to say, this is quite rare to be able to uh, get that close to some of these historic and important cars in the motorsport world. 
the bike stand of course this is the b40 plus and uh, if you go and have a look at it up close and personal you'll see that there's quite a bit of kit on these cars it's quite quite interesting sort of making them uh even more off-roading than they already are and uh trundling along shelby have made a, a a stand of their cars and of course shelby is well known in south africa being part of uh, peter lindenberg's stable of corporate activity these days with all these ponies attached cherry of course launching the new tigo cross which is basically a tigo 4 platformed uh, crossover suv type vehicle which is complementing into their range quite neatly quite a lot of detail on that suzuki are here as they are every year and this year suzuki have done something in terms of their new vehicle being the all new swift and there you see it in white at the back we'll get up a little bit closer to it and you can make up your own mind as to what you think about what it looks like if i can just get past mr carpenter and there it is this is an important car for south africa suzuki sell a lot of swifts and i have no doubt that this new spec which actually comes with a bunch of additional kit six airbags to start with a bunch of extra safety equipment and a hell of a lot of specification look at those headlights they're quite high tech this is going to be an important vehicle for suzuki and i have no doubt it's going to sell like hotcakes frankly i prefer it from the rear than i do from the front but that's just personal i'm sure i'll get used to it in time and what is festival of motoring without a wander through the porsche garage from the new 911 on your left through to the up and coming 718s here we have the spider the rs4 which i still think is one of the most gorgeous looking cars porsche have produced based as it was on the original cayman and of course the taken which is the all-electric vehicle the mccann t which is a stunning suv compact suv and of course porsche's big cayenne which they sell lots of i still think it's still one of the best value for money big suvs you can buy in south africa value for money at festival of motoring there is a lot to see and do i didn't even touch on the volvo stand just got too busy sorry volvo a lot of ex30s floating around um, and quite a lot happening all over on this wonderful wonderful exhibition of all things motoring in south africa get yourself to kyle army you won't be disappointed there is a lot to see and do and i'll sign off with me in yet another car going around the track at speed this time it's something a little bit different it's an all electric it's from byd and i'll let you guys decide for yourselves which one it is come down to kyle army climb in and see if you're as impressed with this vehicle as i was it is super fast Savvy investing is best left to the experts. And when it comes to offshore investing, it's even more important to talk to an expert. Well, Earl Don from Forexpert is the guy you should be talking to for your offshore investments.